Hello everyone, it's Mojo Solo Dev. So I recently played this game called Valorant and I discovered an agent called Reyna which has interesting abilities and I tried to recreate this blinding up using Unity and its shader graph. So it is not identical but hopefully you can change some parameters to get it like you want. So if you want to know how to get this, check the links in the description. So firstly I created the blank shader graph and then I modified its parameters to universal. Then I created a sample texture 2D node with Unity's default particle material. Then I created a time node and I connected it to a remap between 0.01 .01 and 0.1 but you can decide to change the values. Then I connected it to the alpha clip threshold. Then I saved the asset and I created a new particle system. Then I set the duration to 1, looping activated, lifetime, start lifetime equals to 1, speed equals to 0, size equals to 3, and the color, I decided to use a pink color, and the simulation speed is equals to 1.2. Emission rate also is equals to 1, burst count of 1, and no shape. Then for the eye inside the orb, I went to this software called Medibank Paint Pro, and I created an ellipse using a soft brush. But before that you need to change the background to black and before exporting just remove the black background. Then I created a new particle system and I set the duration and the lifetime to 1, the size to 1.3 and the speed to 0 so that it doesn't move. After that I started creating the outer orb so I created a new shader graph, I created a 12 node with strength about 13.5 and then I connected it to a Voronoi for some noise. Then I created a float property called density to be able to control its value out from the inspector. Then I connected it to the Voronoi. Then I connected a color, an HDR color with an intensity of about 2.3. Then I connected both of them with a multiply and I connected it to the emission and the alpha. Then I went back to the editor and created a sphere game object and then I applied the material of the outer orb shader. Then I made it larger and this is what it looks like. So if you want to know how to get this for your project, feel free to check the links in the description and also check out the other videos and projects I made. Thanks for watching.